Thanks a lot, JT, and we're here with Zanesville's own Jay Payton. Jay, thank you for joining us today. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Uh, grew, growing up in Zanesville, did you ever think that there would be a time where you could say that you were a 10-year-plus veteran in Major League Baseball? Um, no, nah, I mean, that's just every kid's dream, you know, to, to grow up and, and be a professional athlete. And, uh, you know, for me, it was it was a dream I got to realize, but after, you know, several surgeries right out of college, I didn't know if I was going to get to realize that dream. So now that I can sit back and look, I got, almost got my 10 years in, it's nice. Uh, with the injury to Adam Jones, one of your teammates, you're getting a chance to play every day. You've been very vocal about that with, with your manager, Trembley, there. And, and how does it feel to, to be able to showcase your stuff on a nightly basis now? Um, it's nice. You know, I just wanted, uh, you know, I wanted a chance to play more. I knew I wasn't going to play every day here, but uh, you know, guys stayed healthy and guys performed all season, so I didn't quite get the at-bats I was looking forward to. But uh, you know, I got the last seven weeks of the season here to get some at-bats and uh, you know, try to show what I can do and uh, put myself in a good position for next season. Next season, uh, as you mentioned, you're going to be a free agent at the end of next year. Where, where are you looking to do at the age of 35? Where are you looking to go? How long? Um, you, know, you don't know. I'd, I'd like to play for another three or four years if possible. And, uh, you know, as far as where I want to go, doesn't, you know, that, that's something I haven't really thought about too much. I'd like to, you know, like to get in the playoffs and have a chance to win a World Series. So uh, those will be factors that I consider when I'm looking for a team this offseason. And when, when you look at having the possibility to win a World Series or having the possibility to play every day, what's more important to you? Um, I think it's obviously this, both. Yeah, both are. But at this point in my career, I, a, a fine balance of both is what I'm looking for. You know, if I can go somewhere and have a chance to, to get in the playoffs and help a team win, that's, that's probably the most important thing to me. Speaking of, of getting a ring, and achieving, you know, getting to the top of the mountain. You've had a teammate at Georgia Tech, Jason Veritek, that, that has done that with Boston. Do you keep in touch with him? And does he ever talk to you about, about those rings, two rings now? Um, I, I talk to him a lot when we play him. Don't, don't really uh, talk to him a lot outside of that. I, talk, I keep in touch with Nomar because me and Nomar were roommates in, uh, in college. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him. The guy's had a great career. Both those guys have had great careers. And uh, Boston looks like they got a good chance to get back in the playoffs again this year and have a chance to repeat. Uh, six teams you played on as a professional. Where, where has been your favorite stop? Um, probably just, you know, playing for the Mets my first year in the big leagues and have a chance to go to the World Series was my, my best experience in the big leagues. I've enjoyed every place I've played. I've gotten to play with lots of guys and, uh, you know, made lots of friends and had, had, had lots of great experiences. So it's hard to, hard to say one's been better than the other, but uh, just having a chance to play in the World Series in New York has been, my, been the highlight so far. Um, your time with the Mets, you played with you played with the A's, you've been East Coast, West Coast. Would you like to come back to Ohio maybe and to finish your career maybe with the, the Reds or the, or the Indians? Um, that'd be great. You know, uh, all my family's still on the East Coast, so, uh, you know, if I, if I can get a, get a good job on the East Coast with a team that, that wants me, that'd be great. And, uh, you know, to be able to play in my hometown, be you know, close to my hometown would be awesome. Sure. Um, mention your hometown, Zanesville High School, naming the field after you, Jay Payton Field, retiring your number. Uh, your parents, I believe, were, uh, were uh, there to, for, on that occasion. How much does that mean to you that, that uh, the hometown really has, has acknowledged what you've done? Um, it's great. I mean, that's, that's the high school I went to, and to, to have the field named after you is about as big of an honor as you could, uh, as you could ask for. So, you know, that, that's, you know, like I say, that's about as big of an honor as you could ask for, to have, have a field named after you. And uh, my parents had a great time when we went there. I understand my dad was a little short with his throw, though, on the, on the first <laughs> pitch. He got a little scuff on the ball that they Not put like in the Not like you in center field last night. Yeah, so, yeah, that worked out well last yeah. night. So, But, uh, you know, like I say, it's, just, it's a great honor and uh, something I always cherish. Um, and I know any time, any chance we get, we always keep an eye out for you. Uh, a couple weeks ago when you guys were out in Anaheim and you made that, that great catch uh, robbing Juan Rivera, uh, people are, are still interested back in Zanesville and what you're doing and keeping up with you. I mean, we're up here today talking to you. How does that make you feel that not only are you honored for what you accomplished at Zanesville, but that they're still keeping up with your career? Um, it's great. You know, I've, I've still got a lot of friends. It's been nice with the, with the internet now. I've gotten in touch with a lot of people I haven't talked to in a while. A good buddy of mine, Kip Kimball, is coming up tomorrow to the game. And, uh, you know, I still talk to some of the guys back home every now and then. And it, it's just nice, you know, to, to have that hometown feel and know that that's, that's where you started and that the people are still keeping up with it. Jay Payton joining us here on WHIZ TV. And uh, that'll wrap things up. Jay, thanks for uh, your time today. Appreciate it very much. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. we'll send it. it back to you, JT.